Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will wed in Windsor on April 19 and once again the Suits star has mixed tradition with modernity. Miss Markle has announced the appointment to the royal wedding of U.S. Bishop Michael Bruce Curry, the first ever African-American presiding bishop, Bishop Curry, the 27th presiding bishop and primate of the Episcopal Church, confirmed his appointment today. He will deliver an address at the royal wedding, which will be watched by tens of millions of people across the globe next Saturday. Kensington Palace said the Most Reverend Michael Bruce Curry would join Justin Welby, Archbishop of Canterbury, for the wedding. The Archbishop will preside over the exchange of vows, while the service itself will be conducted by the Dean of Windsor, Bishop Curry said. The love that has broadened will bind Prince Harry and Miss Meghan Markle together has its source and origin in God, and is the key to life and happiness, and so we celebrate and pray for them today. The United States-based Episcopal Church is a constituent member of the Global Anglican Communion, of which the Church of England is the mother church. According to its website, Bishop Curry has been active in issues of social justice including immigration policy and marriage equality. Meghan and Harry have made an effort to put their own twist on their wedding but the pair will still follow several traditions, and former royal butler Grant Harold, who runs the Royal School of Etiquette and Butlers, has spilled the beans on which traditions he believes will be honored at the wedding. He exclusively told Express UK a lot of the traditions and laws of the past have changed, especially when it comes to royal etiquette such as marrying divorcees. We've got to understand it's not a royal family from a hundred years ago. It is a very modern royal family and so we will be pleasantly surprised from what we see on the day. One tradition Meghan will have to do without question is give a curtsy to the Queen as an acknowledgement after she is formally married, but many other customs will be more relaxed, according to Mr. Harold.